What's up, everybody? Welcome to March and Chevrolet. Today, we're going to be looking at the 2017 Chevy Cruze with the Premier package. This is the first time we've filmed this particular uh, vehicle on our channel. We've had a new Chevy Cruze on the channel, but this is the first time filming the actual Premier package. So, I do want to give a shout out to my friend John Wood Marchant for uh, putting the stock number down today to film. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the Premier package on the Cruze is definitely going to be fully loaded out. So, uh, a lot of stuff to go over today. We'll do it in a timely manner, and I can't go over every single feature, but I'll do the best I can with what I can see with my eyes today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, front end's looking good, right? I'm telling you, these headlights look good. The Chevy Cruze, I'm loving the new body style, the new redesign. You got your projector headlights there. You also have a, uh, an LED light bar that just kind of flows right down under the projector that really gives an aggressive look during the daytime when cruising around. I also like the chrome on the grill in the front with the honeycomb. Just kind of makes it stand out just a little bit more than uh, your traditional vehicle. So Chevy does a good job on the fit and finish of their vehicles. Now uh, we will go over some of the specs and let's go ahead and take a look at our wheels because you know a vehicle that does not have good looking wheels just kind of messes it up. So let's go ahead and start. I think these are pretty sporty here, aren't they? It's a 225-45 series tire and a 17 inch wheel. What brand are the tires? Well, it says Firehawk, so I'm assuming, yep, it's Firestone. So good looking wheel there. I love a five star wheel. You can't go wrong with five stars. And I love just how they kind of split at the top there and gives it just a little more aggressive look on that rim. So not bad at all. And there's not too much wheel well gap here. So it looks a little bit lower to the ground. Now you will notice on the side here on your mirror, you do got some LED lights right there so people can see when you're trying to get over. And I like how that kind of bends around on the fender there and rolls right into the side of the car. Pretty sweet, right? Now, before we get any farther, I want to take a look at the Moroni label because this is probably the most important place to look on a car when you're shopping for new cars on the car lot. So let's go ahead and take a look because this will give you all the information you need, right? As you can see, premium, mosaic black metallic, jet black interior, 1.4 liter engine, transmission six speed automatic, it's pretty good there. And then you'll notice when you got a smaller engine, 39 highway, 29 city, average combined of 33. So 39, it's usually, I'm seeing 38 highway, 39, that's pretty strong for a gas vehicle. Now uh, with the packages and everything this car has on it, you know, it started around 23, 475, and it's basically rolled up to MSRP. Retail is 24,390, 24,390. Now what I can tell you, if you've watched a video with us before on Charleston Car Videos at Merchant Chevy, you know already, but I'm gonna tell you again. All these new vehicles are $98 over factory invoice. We don't sell any new cars for retail. Uh, we had a uh, Ford Raptor come in at the Ford store, $98 over invoice. We got a Chevy Corvette sitting up front right now, 2017 Stingray, $98 over the invoice. And if there's any incentive or rebate money, you get that too. So you get it all, folks. And there's no dealer admin fees, no dock fees of any kind. If you don't know what those fees are, just ask me in the comments and I'll give you a little message there. Let's get back to this car with no further ado. Taillights are looking good. Kinda has a BMW rear look to that taillight, doesn't it? If you were just filming the taillight, Almost has that Beamer look to it, which is cool. I like it. It just makes it stand out a little more. I like how they've added that in right there, that reflector. And then you got the Premier badge. And yeah, it's a cruise, folks. So what else do you get in the back of the car other than exhaust pipes? And, uh, and you can't see the exhaust pipes on this car. You gotta go with something a little sporier to have pipes coming out the back. But um, you do get a backup camera right there so you can see that kid coming across the road when you're pulling out your driveway. You do get a smart key with the vehicle. So that's a nice feature. You get uh, two taps there to open up the trunk. And then you also get a, uh, a remote start on the car. So that's pretty cool. That's a lot of stuff right there just to have going on on a remote, right? So uh, trunk space is spacious, isn't it? Look at that. That's a lot of trunk space in the back of the cruise. Plenty of trunk space. You know, they do have a hatchback as well, which is a red one that's kind of poking around on the other side there. But this is a lot of space. You also have your spare tires right up under here. So you're getting all that good stuff. And a 40-60 back seat split for even more room if you need it. 
pretty nice. Even got the carpeting right up top here. You know, all that stuff helps with sound deadening to keep the car quieter while going down the road. Um, you also notice up here that something a little different. Um, right here, nice and flush, is a, uh, a third brake light, which is all LED, and your shark fin right up top there. I like how it's nice and flush there. Looks really good. Now, we already looked at the Moroni label. Let's get on in the inside. Okay, now it's jet black interior, but it's not all jet black. It's, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that word there. Kalahari or something like that. Anyways, to me it looks kind of amaretto, but it's like a tan, camel, I don't know, you tell me. And uh, something I just noticed is a little different. Look at the stitching there. You, it looks like you got a, a light colored stitching and a bottom color is a little stitching. That's the fine detail with them switching colors out and stitching things up like that. Of course, you're getting all power options on your windows and your mirrors. You can get a power seat on the driver's side here. And this is real leather, folks. Take a look at that seat. It's actually a really nice seat. Um, it looks comfortable. And I like the side bolsters that hold you in when you're going around corners. And uh, yeah, pretty soft. I mean, when you can do that right there, that you know you got a nice soft seat in this vehicle, folks. Um, steering wheel also leather wrapped. Dash has even got some leather wrapped up onto it in different areas. That's that luxury that they're adding in. That luxury features that you've seen on, you know, back in the day on the Range Rovers and stuff. And the Jaguars. Heated steering wheel, cruise control. You got a yeah, LCD screen between the tack and the speedometer there. Another big LCD right there. The center mount speaker up top. I know you can't see it, but it's there. And then you do have a, uh, a push start button. Two USBs. An auxiliary port, automatic transmission, piano black on your trim right through here, a leather wrapped armrest. So a lot of nice features. I mean, just really everything is really clean and still got that new car smell because it's a new car. But again, you know, I don't want to say it too many times, but the fit and finish is nice on this car. Let's take a look in the back. Not bad. Pretty decent amount of leg room. It's a pretty big car, folks, compared to your uh, previous models on the cruise. This has got some space. I like the headrests. These back seats look comfy. So pretty cool. We even got a USB port right down there on the bottom. You got a spot to throw your iPad or tablet over there. I'm not sure why they don't put one over here and it's just on the passenger side. But anyways, I don't know why they do that. And it's a solid vehicle. So. That concludes our uh, our walk around today on the cruise premiere. Come on down to Marchant Chevrolet. No aspirin needed at all. It's easy car buying at Marchant Chevy. If you're watching on YouTube.com, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button for me. I'm trying to earn y'all's respect. Send me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, hit the like button. Every day we're uploading videos on here of vehicles all over the Carolinas. And uh, you're getting a taste of it today. That's a nice color on the cruise too. But yeah, come on, man. Hit the subscribe. Let us know what you think. We look forward to seeing what you have to say. Have a great day. And yeah, most importantly, come on down to March and Chevrolet and buy a car if you live in the Carolinas. You don't have to live in the Carolinas, though. But I can, I can ask you, if you live around this area, come on down and see them. I think you'll enjoy spending some time with them and buying a vehicle today.